hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much my name is winnie uh for my returning subscribers thank you so much for always supporting the channel and always coming back to watch the videos and for all my new subscribers thank you so much for coming to watch the video so today i want to talk about the struggles of uh, young youtubers like the struggles uh, youtubers go through before you get to that monetization stage i want to talk about this because this is something i've realized most youtubers are going through but people are not willing to talk about it people are just like okay let me keep doing it until i succeed okay so it's most people come to youtube because they want to express their passion they want to create content about things they love they also want to help others out uh, discover their talent or try out new things but at the end of the day everyone at the back of their minds is like um when will i start getting paid by youtube this is just something that is in every youtuber's mind trust me People will not admit it, but every YouTuber starts to think about this thing. Immediately, they open their YouTube channel. And that is why everyone will always want to strive to their 1,000 subscribers and to their 4,000 watch hours. But what we don't talk as small YouTubers is the struggles we are going through so that we can actually encourage each other and... Uh, you can know that it's okay. Someday things are going to be fine. So one of the struggles I've gone through myself is shooting a video and deleting a video before I even upload it. Like you take a lot of time to shoot content and then you, you read, you review that content. You have even maybe edited the video and then you just look at the video, watch it and you feel this is not good enough. This is not going to you just feel this video is not good and then you end up deleting the video i have deleted so many videos just by uh, like second guessing myself until when i reached this year january i said i'm not gonna delete any video as long as i have created that content i have to post it the whole of last year i took a lot of uh video footage but i kept on deleting and all that and i realized that was like sabotaging myself and i've seen growth i've seen a very big difference in my channel from last year to this year if you look at my channel from january to march like the this uh, 2024 there's a very very massive growth and i take it because now i've taken some steps i've learned steps and i've begun to become more more intentional so what i want to say is if you have had the courage to shoot a video all the way as long as it doesn't have any copyright issues or any other reused content issues just upload the video you just never know what video is gonna blow up in your channel or what video is gonna attract to you the right audience okay and the other struggle for small youtubers is struggling with the niche which what to post you know you don't have content you've not aligned your content like you post randomly you don't have any any schedule you don't have any pre-organization of what to post okay and i think this is gonna derail your channel from growing um as i've said i've quite not restricted myself to a certain niche per se because i'm still a growing but i know i've crafted out four kind of content which i have to shoot around those four types you see i've mapped out a little bit wider niche i've not like singularized my niche like said i'm gonna shoot about finance alone or anything so like myself i shoot content on food on business i shoot also content on uh, just lifestyle okay i just shoot content around those three aspects but you realize that small youtubers really struggle you are hoping from one niche to the other just because you want to see you now what is gonna work okay what is gonna work and then this this gives you a lot of uh, second guessing yourself thinking maybe this niche is working for somebody else maybe it's gonna work for me and then you end up shooting videos and they don't get views and then you get discouraged and you feel like okay this is not working this is not working i'm getting burnout and all those things okay so 
a tip for you as a small YouTuber just like me is to ensure you have mapped out as wide areas as you can. You can even say I'm going to shoot content around four areas. Get a book and write down what exactly do you want to shoot about that area. I have like, for example, I have mapped out like over 100 videos that I'm going to shoot this year. And each time I don't have to shoot them in any particular order. But if I'm shooting a food content, I'll have to check it off my list. And it has really helped me to stay organized because as I've said, I have a nine to I have an eight to five full time job. I have to stay very organized for my channel to come to a success. I have to put in the work. And just as I will put in the work in my age to five job, I've put aside time each day to review my comments, to review what videos I've been shot, what videos I can possibly shoot quickly, or what content is easier to shoot. Like a sit down video like this one, it's easier to shoot because I just need to just sit, uh, talk, and the editing is very minimal. But a video like a cooking video, it's going to take a lot of time to edit. Shooting the content is also going to take time. All I'm trying to say is try to be organized. Just try to be organized, okay, in shooting your content. You don't have to have uh, 10,000 subscribers or 1,000 subscribers for you to start being organized. You can start being organized right from just one subscriber to subscriber. And I'm telling you, you're going to see the difference. You're going to wake up every day with an additional subscriber every day. And then another third struggle that uh, small YouTubers uh, go through is checking the analytics every day. Like, <laughs> this was me last year. Like I was waking up and checking YouTube studio every day, every day. And I'm like, why? There's no more additional subscriber. There's no more additional watch hours, you know? Like you have that anxiety to always check. I posted a video right now. How is it doing? Now to cut that, uh, one thing I decided to do, I decided to set aside time to check my analytics and uh, review my con comments and um, answer the comments you know that time i used to wake up in the middle of the night and i'm checking youtube studio <laughs> it's really really it will give you burnout trust me you're not gonna be happy in this uh, area of creating content and this is not a niche for competition this is a niche too you enjoy yourself doing something a little uh, better like you doing you and still at the same time getting giving value and getting value from youtube and because i know for me this is like a long run game this is this is what i want to do in the long run so i don't want to crash out content out there and uh, be burned out before i get to the uh, like the top of what i want to do okay so stop checking your youtube studio every other minute small youtubers just like me just set aside time to check your analytics and actually to review your content and to give replies to all the comments you have imagine when you'll be a very big youtuber and you have like 10,000 comments and you are answering every time every time you're gonna get burnout and the best way to do to avoid that is to start practicing now okay so those are some of the struggles we face as small youtubers and another last struggle is uh thinking about what others will think about your video you know and actually, even that is not very bad. The worst thing is trying to copy someone else. Like <laughs> you go, you, you watch several videos and then you want to copy paste, you know, that's so bad. Like you want to copy as much as, uh, you have to hop into the trending uh, topics and talk about them. Just be honest with yourself. You don't have to copy, uh, someone else content or you want to, you don't have to copy some trend and just, uh, go along with it. Okay. You have to be very strategic. Just be authentic. Be yourself. Even if you have two viewers listening to you, I tell you that is more than enough. You know, as much as you know, you are authentic and you're doing you. Okay. As much as your content are not getting those views, a time will come when they will have massive, massive views. And then you'll ask yourself, why was I even struggling back then? So guys, if you're a small YouTuber and you're facing such challenges I've talked about, kindly comment in the comment section. Let me know where you're watching me from. Let me know if you're dealing with such kind of um, 
such kind of struggles and what are you doing about it and uh also the other thing i wanted i wanted to say is each time you put out a video just ask for the favor of god and just pray about it because this is uh this is something that is reaching so many people and people are impacted differently. You just never know who might listen, be listening to your video and it might be the turning point of your life. Okay, bye-bye. See you in my next video. I hope this video gave you some value and uh, it has contributed to your wide, vast knowledge that you have. Okay, kindly do not forget to leave me a comment and let me know if you're facing any of these struggles I've talked about. See you.